the legend of Old Snapper. Oh, in the great outdoors. It is pretty great. And we were outdoors. Oh, is that a fish? I'm going to guess that that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh. <sighs> okay, before we hit the road to go back home, we'll just pop inside this shop. But don't worry, there's a window so I can keep an eye on you from inside the store. I don't know, maybe noonish? It's time to get Bob's fishing pole. <clears throat> now where do we... S Have I got a tale for you? <gasps> a long time ago. I know what swam off with your Bob's fishing pole. Well, hello there, Mr. Have we ever heard old Snapper? Ha! Bingo? Well, old Snapper is a monster that roams deep beneath these waters. Whatever he finds in the lake to his hideout forever. <gasps> There's an island in the center of this lake, Snapper Island. Most likely, that's where you'll find Bob's fishing pole. Thanks, Quincy. You're a huge help. Wait a minute there. Like that one? You're gonna need a bigger boat. Come on, Rolly. Thanks, Quinty McSquinty. Good luck, pups. Thought there'd be more boats at this part of the lake. Rolly? Rolly! Shoe party! Hey, it's busy! Whoa, 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 whoa. It's Bingo and Rolly, my two favorite pups. And that's the legend of old Snapper. Yes, sorry. He probably took your fishing pole. Then, let me tell you both what I'm about to do. I'm going to get you out to Snapper's Island so that you, better yet, I'll just make you one. Wait here. All done. Wow, sweet longboat. Floating on the water, using puppy power to paddle across the lake. Old Snapper. He doesn't scare us at. You know, Rolly, I always feel my bravest when we're doing something together. Well, Bingo, that's the power of puppy power. Okay, Rolly, we're here. Snapper Island. Now we just need to find Bob's fishing pole. So, that was easy. I can get us there faster with... Rolly Power to the rescue! Bob's gonna be so happy when he gets his fishing pole back. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Snapper. He's come back for Bob's fishing pole. And I'm getting tired. Bingo! Bingo! Oh, Snapper. You, you. No, it's not. Look! We just need to follow the bubble trail. What do you say, Rolly? You think you can swim some more? Uh, Bingo? Is that you breathing down the back of my neck? Ah! 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 Wait, we scared you? We're cute puppies! You're a scary creature born from the mud and muck of the lake! Guess I do look pretty scary with all this gunk that gets all over me when I swim. Oh, you mean the shiny red stick someone left in my lake as a gift? Gift? They belong to our owner, Bob. He dropped the fishing pole in the water when you took the bobby thing. Oh, that's terrible for a turtle. Come on, hop on. Down to the wow, wow, whee! Wait a minute. My fishing pole and my bobber. We found them, Bob. Ah, oh, this is the life. He's a turtle. They say he's 50 feet tall and lives in a big castle of mud on an island in the middle of the lake. <laughs> Cute 
madness and bark, bark, barks to all. Remember, Captain Dog is always just a bone call away. This sounds important. The Great Pyramids of Egypt have mysteriously disappeared. Oh, no. The pyramids shown here before they disappeared. How could those giant pyramids have just disappeared? No one has any idea how the pyramids disappeared. Oh, try to stay dry today. I'll see you when I get home from work. Well, we're going to make sure an upside up smile lands there instead. Hissy, Rolly and I are going on a mission to find the pyramids for Bob. What's the weather like in Egypt? Welcome to sunny and dry Egypt. I guess we'll have to change that on all the posters and brochures. Those ancient Egyptians knew how to treat a kitty right. Looks like that guy has ouchies all over his body. Like when Bob wrapped my foot after I stepped in that bee. <laughs> Except you kept going. <laughs> is this the bus that takes us where the pyramids used to be? Yes, it is. All aboard. You coming with us, sissy? Nah, you can go on without me while I'm napping here without you. Ugh. We get to ride a camel. Cause away we go. Well, she didn't do a very good job. They're nowhere in sight. This big doggy's nose fell off. Maybe it fell in the sand. Sure is. Hey, look what I found! Where are you, Esther? Oh. I'm on a camel in the middle of the desert. these cool drawings all over the walls. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> Rolly, that's not me. Well, it's not me either. Esther! It's a mummy! <laughs> this way. Maybe that mummy's looking for the pyramids too. Not if we find them first. Esther! What are we gonna do? There's only one thing we can do. Dig, Rolly. Dig like we've never dug before. Dig, digging in the desert sand. There's a mummy on our tail and we gotta lose him. Throwing sand everywhere. Oh, I'm a dizzy pup. Which way's up? I don't know, buddy. Dig! We made it! But we still haven't found the missing pyramids that Bob wants to see someday. And look out! Run! You mean we came all the way up this mountain just so we could slide down it? Yep. This is going to be so much fun. In the name of the dog. <laughs> it's a good thing I brought my bottom with me to help out. Not sure what that means, but thanks. Rolly. I did? It's the right shape, just like those hats Bob made for us, but bigger. And in Egypt. They were here all the time? Look what Rolly found, Hissy! Hissy? The triangly things were discovered in the exact spot they had always been in. Oh, this is fantastic! Now I'll be able to go to Egypt someday and see the pyramids! As long as I don't have to ride there on a camel. One, two, three, go! Yeah! <laughs> we did it, Rolly! We conquered Mount Bingoli! Time to celebrate! Well, if you say so! Hey there, guys! Mind if I borrow a cushion? <laughs> hey, look what's on TV! 
butterfly looks a lot like the ones on TV. Oh, whoa! You're supposed to be on a journey with thousands of butterflies. <gasps> Bye, guys. See ya, hissy. See ya after work. Hey there. Hi, hi, butterfly. Yes, then I think we have our mission. We're going to help this butterfly find her family at the butterfly forest. <laughs> hey, look, she likes it. Come on, Vicky. Let's go find your family. Bye, Bye, Vicky. Bye, Vicky. Bye, Vicky. Huh. We're super duper like the whole really excited to be going on a mission. Going on a mission. Five, four, three, two, one. We just need to find our way to the butterfly forest, which is by the sunny warm beach. Don't worry, Vicky. You'll be back with this family before you know it. Butterfly bus lines all the board. Sounds like they're going to the butterfly forest too. Then all aboard the butterfly bus. Look, Vicky, the wheels on this bus are going really round and round, and they're taking us right where we need to go. Don't worry, Frank. There's a gas station and repair shop right there. I'm sure they'll fix this bus in no time. And she looks like she's missing her family too. It's okay, Vicky. You don't need that big bus to take you to your family. Yeah, because you've got us. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. What a view. But which way is the butterfly force? I think my arms are tired, but that's about it. <laughs> Look, I see them flying near the ocean. Them who? That's why we're not going to walk. <laughs> Cause the roads are winding Moving down the mountain It's a kite string. And hold it so I don't blow away. Got it? Got it. Can I hear you? Not really. Not here. Steer! Fear? There's nothing for the fear, Bingo. I've got you. Whoa! 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 Waiting for you to fly there. We'll find another way. Rolly! Positive. And Vicky saw our family there, didn't you? Then it's a good thing we practiced climbing Mount Bingoli this morning. Let's do this with puppy power. Is this your family, Vicky? Think that's a yes. Bye, Vicky. I'll miss you. Me too. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Clint Manley, and I am back at the Butterfly Forest. I wonder if that butterfly that was here this morning... We made it, Frank! I'm glad they finally fixed that bus, huh? Esther, one landed on me. Are you enjoying your trip to the Butterfly Forest, sir? It's a dream come true. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she is. <laughs> <laughs> That's your paw. It is? Oh. What is it, Bob? <laughs> hey, where'd the doggy go? Oh, my computer. Oh, darn, it's broken. But at least I can look forward to seeing you two when I get home from work. Enjoy your nap, hissy. And the nap after your other naps. Wait. Where'd it go? There it is. Where'd it go? Watch it! Broly, did you hear what he said? Bob needs a pot of gold to fix his computer. And we can find one at the end of the rainbow. That's just a legend. What is? That at the end of every rainbow, there's a pot of gold. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Let's go find the pot of gold at the end of that thing. It looks like the rainbow ends behind that factory. But we know someone who does. Oh, sure. I know that factory. I collect stuff other people throw away. And when this friend of mine found plans for that place in the trash... See that ditch right there? You want to crawl through that to the front door. Then, when you're inside the factory, you're going to ride this conveyor belt through the assembly room. Stay out of trouble, and that pot of gold will be yours. Don't worry, Bullworth. Nothing is going to trip us up. Ah! Hello? Either the water's getting deeper or my legs are getting shorter. Stay down. I'm going to take a peek and see where that guard dog is. Is he gone? Yeah, and there's the front door. So come on. Then next room? Here we come. Bingo, why are you going that way? I don't... Uh, I've got you. Uh, uh, thanks for the paw. Anytime. Well, we said this next room was called the wrapping room. <laughs> These bubbles are wrapped around us so tight we can't walk. We've been bubble, bubble wrapped. And we're in trouble. Gotta pop these bubbles on the doggy double. We're, we're bubble wrapped. And we're wrapped up tight. I'm twisting and turning. We did it, Rolly. We did it. Yeah, I just wish there was more bubble wrap for us to pop because I could play with that stuff all day. Okay, Rolly. Your turn. <laughs> Dogs other than me aren't allowed back here. What do we do, Bingo? Mine too! You're a friend of Bola's? I am. I love how that guy collects stuff that's being thrown away. So when I found the plans for this factory in the trash, I gave them to him. Would it be okay if we took some of that gold home for Bob? Take whatever you want. It's all going to be thrown out anyway. Hey, I should give some to Bullworth. We found the end of the rainbow and the pot of gold. Even though there wasn't a pot, but there was nothing but gold! Wait a minute. You mean there actually was something there? Must have fallen out of my computer this morning, but I didn't see it! Ha <laughs> ha! It works! But you know what? There aren't any dogs who are more special than you! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> in our cool pool. Thanks, but I'm gonna stick with this dry shade. Great gears. When I get back from work, I need to find the perfect place to get cool too. <laughs> hmm, our doggy pool is cool, but it isn't big enough for Bob. And hissy shade is cool too, but it's only hissy sized. Maybe Arf can take us. Did Arf just hear Arf's name? Let's go! On your bar, get ready, got a lot. Let's go! Sure. <laughs> I got plenty of ideas for places to get cool. Well, this fan is broken. We are in a junkyard, after all. Aw, where's the ice? Well, of course, to be near ice, you have to have ice. And that brings me to my last idea. Being in front of a nice, cold sprinkler. Sorry, pups. I never said I had the actual places to stay cool. I think I see just the right place up ahead.
Then it looks like this could be perfect for Bob. And if one fan feels this good, then turning on all the fans might feel even better. Flipping every fan on moving there is all that we need. Summer sun is beating the cold. Searching, searching. Peppercorn's birthday party tonight at the baseball stadium. Yeah, it looks just like him, and it sure is cold. Burr. Yeah, standing next to this is so cold. I'm sh sh shivering. I think we may have found our spot. Yeah. Well, how is it? Just like ice skating. <laughs> Arp, take us to the park. Yay, park! And here's an extra scoop of ice cream for you. Well, we made it to the park. Now, where are they? There! Sprinklers! It was here just a second ago. That's okay. I love that game. Here, sprinkler, sprinkler, sprinkler. Whoa! This isn't a sprinkly cam sprinkler. This one's a sprinkler monster. Ah! I can't move. Art will save you. <laughs> Come on, Rolly! <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Arf! Yeah! Woo! Thanks, Arf! Arf is happy Arf could help! <laughs> Being next to ice was too crashy and sticky, and this place is way too unpredictable! And way too hot! <sighs> Did you think of any other places we're about to get cool yet? Not yet! It is still hot out here! But I'm glad to see you guys have been keeping cool today. Huh, even Hissy's managed to stay cool. <laughs> hey, oh, look at that. I've been wanting to find the best place to get cool all day. And the best place was in my own backyard. <laughs> go, John, go. By something colorful and posty. Is it that fence? Is it Bob and Arf? It's Bob and Arf! Bob! Bob! Hey guys! <laughs> check out what I did to Arf! <laughs> I've programmed Arf to take you anywhere you want to go. So let's see if he works. Take my little puppy passengers all the way around the yard and to their dog house. <laughs> So Arf needs to stay dry. That was the most fun we ever had getting to our doghouse ever. Where else would Bingo and Rolly like Arf to take them today? Let's go! Because Arf loves to go zoom zoom really fast. Oh, and look! I spy KG! Arf has arrived! Hey there, puppy dogs. Hey. I enjoy the view. Bob made Arf to take us anywhere we want to go, and we came to see you. Yeah, I see that. Where do you think we should have him take us next? Arf has never been to a beach, but Arf would love to go. Think how great it would feel to put your paws in that one. Okay, then. Arf? Take us to the beach! For sure, dudes. That's how dudes talk at the beach. Then take us there! Came out my tongue so I can taste the air. How's the taste? Not bad! Run down, down the road on a robot motorbike. I spy something green and 
pointy and really tippy tolly too. I spy something windy. Whoa, that's extra super windy. Hey, that wave came in and took our paws away with it. No, it didn't. Oh, there they are. I wish Bob was here to enjoy this with us. That's a new one. I've never heard that sound before. Come on, Arf. Let's get out of the water and get back to Bob's house. It's because of the water Arf put his paws in. It really did make Arf go... And now, Arf does not remember. Hello, Seagull. I am Arf, which stands for Auto Doggy Robotic Friend. Well, I'm Jonathan, which stands for Jonathan. Home, sweet home, eh, home, home. Jonathan, we wanted you to take us back to our home, not yours. Oh, well, in that case, I don't know where that is. Rolly, that's a great idea. If you can remember all the things you I spied on the way getting here, Jonathan can fly around and see them and show us the way back. So let's go. Let's see. Green and pointy. But this isn't the right kind of green and pointy thing that I spied. It isn't? Uh, Ow! Do you remember spying anything else, Rolly? I present to you something windy. Jonathan, this isn't what I spied either. The windy thing that I saw was a different kind of winding. Arf can take you down the mountain. Then on your bark? Get set, go! I wait for him! <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Nice! There we go. Do you remember I spying a gas station at the bottom of a mountain? Thanks, Arf, but we still have to get home, and we still don't know how to get there. Maybe if you remember anything else you spied, I can fly around until I see it. Which means we need to follow that truck. It means Arf needs to follow that truck. So, here Arf goes. <laughs> Arf has arrived. And so is Cage's food. Come on, Arf. We know the way from here, so you can follow us. Arf is ready and set to follow you, so let's go! But you got back, because Rolly remember what he spied. Yeah, but all that remembering has worn this puppy out. <sighs> but I'm glad you're right here, because I'd really miss you if you ever weren't. Arf spies Bob and his best friends. Arf, Arf! <laughs> we went to the mountains! Putting it together! Watch where you step, Rolly. You don't want to fall into the boiling hot lava. Oh, be extra careful. Ow. Hey there, puppy dog players. It's Bob! Hey, Bob! Who's ready for a unicycle day? <laughs> I know I am. You know I... Hmm, where's my unicycle? I remember the last time Bob tried to ride that unicycle. Hey, guys! Look what I just got. A unicycle! Cool! Are you okay? Uh, where did Bob go? <laughs> what was I thinking? But now he does want to see it again. Maybe I can find my unicycle after I get home from work. Then I can ride it around and say, look, I'm riding a unicycle. Uh, me neither. So it's going to be our mission to find out where it is. Come on, watch out for hot lava. go to start trying to remember where we buried Bob's unicycle. We should check with KG. He sees everything out the window of the pet store where he lives. Come help me get what I want. <laughs> sure, I remember that day. It was the same day I got this new exercise. Well, you guys should run there real fast, like this. Go, go! Maybe not quite so fast. <laughs> It got away. Except that flower reminds me. It's just a metal stick. Can we take it home and play fetch with it later? No, no. It's kind of indestructible. I, but what we found isn't the right something we came here to dig up. I remember a while back when you got...